Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. My name's Terry Ellis, I'm an audio reviewer and a Dirac Live calibrator. And this is an electrostatic speaker and this is a PC monitor. And if I asked you what the two might have in common, you would probably pull this face. But if I told you the answer was the world's smallest electrostatic speaker, then things might start to make more sense. Here it is, the BenQ Travolo, which is the company's latest flagship electrostatic based Bluetooth speaker system with very high quality audio or audio file sound quality at the heart of its design, which is the reason BenQ have sent it to me because they knew I would give a very honest opinion about the unit's sound quality. And while I'm being extremely honest, there is one thing to mention here. This is the Travolo 2, which is actually the world's second smallest electrostatic speaker. Very, very sorry about the headline. Now, the BenQ do make the world's smallest electrostatic speaker in the Travolo S, but they sent me the Travolo 2 because it's a larger unit with higher sound quality. Because as an audiophile, BenQ thought I would appreciate this version more. Taking a closer look at the Travolo 2 really puts a smile on your face with its visual appeal. But that actually starts when you unbox it because there's some really lovely touches with the retail packaging. For starters, the shape of the retail packaging mirrors the shape of the Travolo 2 and it proves to be quite tricky to get out of the box until you realize there's two integrated handles built into the foam protective packaging that allow you to pull the Travolo out of its box. Then when you take a close look at the Travolo 2 visually, it really is an absolute stunner. I really like the look of the Travolo 2. I really like the colors that they've used here. I particularly like the fit, the feel, and the finish of the Travolo 2. It feels premium, it feels very high quality, and it feels built to last. More, most importantly, I feel the hinges of our wings have a nice resistance. They feel high quality, and again, they feel built to last. Sold as an extra is the Travolo 2 stand, which is made from cherry wood and allows the Travolo 2 to sit at the perfect angle for audio playback. When the Travolo 2 sits on top of the stand, due to its weight, it feels really sturdy and secure. Now, there's a reason for that weight. Looking at the front, you can see a dual driver array. The drivers have powerful near medium magnets and a rigid structure. And BenQ have optimized airflow to give a 30% increase in performance for the direct sound from these drivers. If that wasn't impressive enough, on the inside of the cabinet, we actually have a passive radiator. Now, a passive radiator has been used to improve the bass output from the Travolo 2 by five decibels without increasing distortion. <laughs> While we're speaking about distortion, that is the reason BenQ have used the electrostatic panels in the wings for the mid-range and the treble. Electrostatic panels have the benefit of using the whole surface area to create the sound. They are thin and they are extremely light. They generally have at least one or two magnitudes less distortion than a standard cone driver. And this is technology we normally see in high-end hi-fi speakers. Also special is the spec sheet. We have a frequency response of 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz. We have a battery life of up to 12 hours. Not only is there a multitude of different speaker drivers used in the Travolo 2, but we also have multiple ways of connecting to the Travolo 2, either via USB, analog, or probably what most people are gonna use, APTX based Bluetooth. Connecting to the Travolo 2 is easy, fast and the connection quality is rock solid. If you look at the top of the Travolo 2, we have several buttons. We have an on button, mode button, a volume button, and then some telephone orientated buttons. Hello? Hello, did you call? Yeah, I'm just filming a review. So you're actually now on the review. <laughs> so I'm testing out the phone, it's got a built-in microphone. Oh kids, you're all right? 
Hello, son. Right, see you later. Bye bye. There you go. The Travolo 2 has a built in microphone for being used as a speakerphone, which is absolutely fantastic addition. I'm really impressed by that. On top, you have the button to select between three different sound modes. With the Travolo 2, we have pure, we have warm, and we have vivid. I would guess that 99.9% .9 of Travolo 2 users are going to do so by using a Bluetooth connection. So I think it's important to test out the range. So as you can see, pretty stellar results. Now we need to test out the sound quality for the Travolo 2 because BenQ make big claims that this is an audio file quality product that delivers higher sound quality. But before we do, there's a few things to pay attention to. And the mid range and treble from the Travolo 2 is going to come out of our electrostatic panels from the wing. Now the way electrostatic panels work is they radiate sound in both directions. Now it's important to pay attention to what is behind the Travolo 2, but because it radiates sound in both directions, we're able to place the Travolo 2 near a boundary to help create a more overall enveloping sound. It's similar with the bass performance. The closer you move the Travolo 2 to a boundary, the more bass you're going to get. So again, it's important to pay attention not to put the Travolo 2 too close to a boundary or too close to a corner so that the bass swamps the clarity of the mid-range. BenQ suggests facing the Travolo 2 directly at the listener and placing the Travolo 2 at ear height. And this is another important reason for using the BenQ Travolo stand is that it puts the Travolo 2 at the perfect angle for listening. When it comes to setting the optimum volume with the Travolo 2, all phones are gonna behave slightly differently. I would advise you to not use the phone at its maximum volume, maybe one down from maximum. Same rule applies really with the Travolo 2. If you turn the volume up until you hear that click, turn it down just one notch, then that will be the maximum sound quality while retaining the best audio quality. One hand is Juanita, and a baby boy they named Miguel. On the other side of the line is heaven, on this side is a living hell. So you do what it takes, pick up stakes, and try to escape the drought. But when you get to the bowl of the INS, they got the welcome wagon out. You get no refuge, no respite, and no sanctuary here. No refuge, no respite, and no sanctuary here. So what do I think of the sound quality from the BenQ Travolo 2? After you've given it a good charge and a good few hours of playback, I was actually really impressed with the overall sound presentation from the Travolo 2. You can clearly tell it's a product that's been designed with audio quality in mind. There is a very good overall level of clarity. And it's a Bluetooth speaker that's far removed from the very common boom tiz type of sound that you would get from these types of products. It's a nicely balanced sound presentation, which is quite mellow and very easy listening. It's definitely a smoother and more refined presentation than you would expect to hear from a Bluetooth type of speaker system. Probably most impressive is the fact you actually get a stereo image from what is essentially a single point of audio source. But I think that really is the benefit of having the electrostatic panels on either side. But obviously when you fold them back, the overall footprint of the Travolo 2 is actually still very small. Overall, the BenQ Travolo 2 is a really impressive and nice piece of engineering. So how much does all of that actually cost? The current price for the Travolo 2 is £249 on Amazon. The dedicated stand for the Travolo, again on Amazon, is £39. Obviously, the Travolo 2 is limited by its physical size, and it's not here to compete with the likes of our full hi-fi speakers. My final thoughts are the BenQ Travolo 2 is a really 
lovely thing. It looks nice, it sounds good, it works perfectly. And I can see this being an absolutely fantastic Christmas present for a loved one this year. And while we're on that topic, BenQ have been kind enough to allow me to offer my viewers a special discount. If you go to the links in the description below this video, you'll see links to take you to the UK Amazon or the US Amazon and there'll be a code there to get 10% off. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this review has been useful. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you get a nudge every time we create a new video and I'm sure I'll be seeing you all again soon. Take care.